crew, Blossomwood Spence crew, anyone else that's watching this video. Uh, I'm Andrew Rose, I'm the founder of SAIT and a musculoskeletal therapist. Uh, in this short video, we're going to be talking about knee problems with Matt, our myotherapist. He's on holidays down in the southeast, so I'm going to steal his thunder. I'm going to save that one. Uh, I figured that it's you know, between Christmas and New Year festive season, no one wants to think too much about uh, you know, full on things like anatomy and biomechanics. So I thought I'd talk about something uh, relevant to me, which is I'm falling to pieces. And uh, uh, basically, at Christmas time, I was over at York Peninsula, a beautiful part of the world, absolutely love that place, it's like my second home. And I decided on Christmas Day, weather was cracking, and I just went, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna do a run. I haven't run for a couple of years. Um, proper running, and I went out and punched out about 14, 15K. Uh, it's not what most people do, but I've got, a, I guess, a good fitness background in cycling and running and, and all those sort of things, so I felt like I could do it. Hey, the fitness was not an issue, but my God, my calves just started packing up on me. I barely, barely got uh, back, to the, back to the cabin. Uh, and it got me thinking just, you know, I'm not big on New Year's resolutions. Oh, actually, I should say, I just went out for a run then. I thought I'd back it up. Come on, let's, let's get out there and see if, you know, see if my body's toughened up in the last four days or so. And seriously, I, I, I struggled to go from our clinic on Road Street, 500 meters down the road to West Terrace. And I had a stop and trigger point, and I got through four Ks, but I mean, I, I was in a world of strife. I had to change my gait, I had to compensate. And I thought, wow, here I am at 39. Now, I've flogged my body since 15 years old with cycling and triathlons and, and um, a lot of running and football and snowboarding. I, my calves have been flogged, and I just haven't done enough for it. I really haven't, and it's been a, this is a wake up call, and I guess I'm not big into New Year's resolutions. I've always felt like I'm in control of my life, and I've been able to do things when I want to, and when I, you know, when I feel the need to, and this is probably the first time where I've gone, you know what, I need to make some changes this year. And basically, these are things that you might need to do too, and I always talk, I bang on all the time to my clients about, uh, you know, a little bit often and consistency, and I'm not doing it. You know, I'm not doing it on the right things. I'm doing it on some stuff, but not the right things. And I need to drink more water because I'm, I'm going out dehydrated and exercising most of the time at the moment. Uh, I'm not getting enough sleep. I love my job and I spend too much time doing it, whether it's in the clinic or out of the clinic. I'm definitely not eating at the right times. or I don't eat poorly, but I, I just I could be doing a lot better. Um, I'm not being mindful enough. I'm not slowing down enough. And that's working probably on the mental, you know, emotional side of stuff. Uh, and I'm just not stretching enough, I'm not getting enough treatment, I'm just not doing all those little things, and, and my body's telling me, at 39 it's saying, you're on your way out. Now most people could roll over, or a lot of people may roll over and die and go, oh, this is my age, I'm giving up. Nah, I've seen too many people that need to change their lives around, and you know what, I need to use them to empower me to make some change. So I guess, you know, call it New Year's resolution, but I wanna work on all of those things, and I wanna actually, I, I, I reckon I've got years, years of, um, you know, I call it high level exercise uh, in me and I would love to be able to get more flexible as well, I've got to get more yoga happening. Uh, there's just lots of things like that I've got to do. So I guess for me, it's, it's putting it out there for what do you need to do in your life uh, to, you know, to make changes, to make positive change. And, and that could be at work, it could be in your relationships, mental, emotional, it could be physical, it's probably all of the above because it is for me. Uh, so I, I guess, the runs over the last couple of days have been a real eye opener to me needing to, to start looking after myself better. So uh, I guess on that, I hope you had an awesome Christmas. Hope you have an amazing new year. You know, you're probably gonna eat too much, drink too much. Go your hardest. Seriously, there's there's a lot to life. And, uh, and honestly, I'm a big one for just enjoying yourself with your friends and all that sort of stuff. So get out there, have a bit of fun, reset in the new year and um, you know, hopefully you can work towards those goals because we know it's never going to be easy. It never is easy. You've got to ask yourself, do you really, you know, do you really need to be eating that? You know, you've got to force yourself to go out and do exercise sometimes. But within that, uh, you know, you, you'll get some great results. And I mean, some of you may know the saying, and I, I do love it, but discipline equals freedom. And when you're consistently disciplined at sometimes things you don't want to do, it gives you the ability to do so many other things. So I guess, um, you know, here's the... An awesome end of 2019, brilliant start to 2020, and we look forward to working with you a lot more. And yeah, hopefully, my uh, my um, banging on here might just help inspire you.